Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Why Did I Make This? What you're looking at is a fully functional computer made out of only water, lava, and glass. Well, as long as all you want to do is add two numbers. But it does look very friendly, so that that's nice. So how it works is you just plug in your two binary input numbers right here using a diamond block as a one and an empty hole as a zero. And that and the output will be displayed with water down there. This machine works using water streams as signals and then logic gates which can combine these water signals to produce the output that you want. First we have the OR gate which will send a water stream through if either of the inputs have a water stream in. So if we put one on the right it'll just flow down and it'll do the same thing on the left. Next we have the AND gate which will only activate if both of the inputs are activated. So this works because lava likes to flow into the closest hole, so right now it's not flowing out of this because it's flowing into those two holes. So if you just drop one water in, it will block off one hole, but it won't flow out. But if you put in the second one, then it'll block off both holes, the lava will flow down, and then the lava will do the same thing to the water and then cause the water to flow out. So that's how the AND gate works. Next is the exclusive OR gate. This one will only activate if one of the inputs are activated, but not if both of them. Wait, no, that's not constructed right, that's all right. Only if one of the inputs are activated, yeah. So it also happens to look like an angry snowman, so that's cool. Um, so, if we do one water, it will flow down here, and then cause the lava to flow. So the lava can still flow through that way, but if you put in two water, it will block off both sides and the lava will not be able to flow out either direction. So I'll do that right here. And you can see that the water is blocking the lava on both sides. So when I first started designing this, I realized that there would have to be some way to send the water signal upward because these water only flows downward as is commonly believed. However, I created this contraption which allows you to send water signals upward. So when these redstone blocks are removed like this, it doesn't cause a blocked update on the water and the water will just float in the air. So let's replace all the redstone. That pulls out pistons. And now if you replace the rest of the blocks, we have a vertical unstable water pillar. Now if water flows in here, it will repeatedly block update it, sending the water signal upward. To test this machine, I'm going to use it to add my current number of subscribers plus the number of lava sources in this machine. So that's those two numbers in binary, and we want 291 which is this number in binary. So now let me go plug those numbers into the machine. All right, it's time to test. So to start the machine, we'll climb up this ladder, but actually fly, because creative, yep. So all we need to do is place a lava in this water, and this will start this segment which is the timer. So the lava will slowly work its way up and then fall back down and that'll just allow the computation to go before it advances to the next bit. So we'll start it right here. The first one will actually go right away. So we have a splitter, splits it into three channels and then these are the three inputs. And so we had one input here. So this right here is just the adder circuit. So depending on just as these and then so we had a only one input so it should give an output right here and I added the diamond blocks just to show where the output is supposed to go and there we go we got the output. So we didn't have a carry on that. If there was a carry bit it would flow in here and then send the signal all the way up this and then that'll flow down and block the next one. So 
I, the delay is just a little bit long because some of the paths take longer than the others, so I just wanted to be safe that it wouldn't go too early. And there, it's flowing down. So this will also be a summon one. This is a really slow machine. It's about one minute per bit. So I think I'm going to do a nice little time lapse. And then see if it works. Okay, so surprisingly this machine actually works, but before we go, I've actually got one last thing that I need you all to do. Oh, didn't work. Uh, there. There we go.